This all started from local wool broker, Don Chad. I told him I was building a wool shed and he, uh, he said, why don't you approach AWI? So we approached AWI and they allowed me to get whoever I wanted, some of the fastest and the best staff that in the country, in fact, in the world. We went to multiple sheds and picked out the best parts out of them. And because we had a multiple of people from the shearers right through to the wool classes, the penner upper, so we could get whatever we needed, the angles for the, for the drag, the shape of the shoots, the way the sheep run into the shed, the way they fill into the catching pens. pretty well today, a couple of little tweaks. It's just, just interesting how small changes in measurement make a, a huge difference to your, to your comfort as a shearer or even the area you have to work in. We've shifted a couple of things, only 50 millimetres, and the difference it makes is huge. I think it's good to do this and get it done correctly before we get something set in concrete. You know, we're gonna have a pretty steep incline in the, in the catching pens for the larger sheep that we're shearing these times. Uh, the distance between the stands and the actual shoot, the way it comes out into the board, which for easy release with a wider shoot and the right angle. I mean, that eliminates uh, the bend in dragging. I think twisting while holding a lot of weight is probably the one of the biggest dramas we have. So if you're dragging straight, the shoot is on a, the right angle that you don't have to twist to put them down the shoot. It eliminates most problems. This module that we're working on today I've found really good being able to get access right around the shearer to do the wool to the best efficiency that I can anyway. I've found it really good. Be up to the shearers now to see if they, they like it. <laughs> we had to move it a couple of times but I think where we've moved it to now, sort of being closer to the chute, seemed a lot more comfortable to me. Gets you away from the door, gives you a bit more room but if someone would prefer having it a bit further forward you could always just adjust it further forward. It sort of caters for everyone. We're getting very close. The way we're talking today at the moment, this could be where we start from now on. We should go into a, a pretty good system, getting ready to build. It does improve everything that's really a drama. It's a good sloping pen, it's a good drag. The, the pens are a good size. You don't really have to push them down the chute. They sort of just fall down the chute, so. There's not too many negatives on the shed, really. The sheep seem to run in quite well. There's one of the little things I did notice as we got the sheep were getting towards the uh, catching pens. Because of the lower door, they did seem to balk a little bit, but once they, the motion started, they seemed to feel quite well. And I like things like the timber panelling in the catching pens and the uh, forcing pens. It's a lot quieter. It just seems to be animal friendly. We've done away with all those harsh corners in general, so the sheep are moving quite well. It just makes operation that much easier. So often you get to a wool shed and you wonder why, the, why they put that there and they're just not asking us how to design a wool shed. And it's going to be a winner for the farmer and the shearer. There's going to be less injuries and shearers are going to last longer. Yeah, well, shearing's a hard enough job and if you can make the the shearing shed more user friendly then it's not going to hurt as much. You've got the ability to move those stands back or forward. You might want to move them 50 or 100 mil either way just depending on the shearer because not every shearer even though they're shearing the same they don't shear in the same position. Some like to shear forward, some like to shear back. So you've got the ability to adjust that there and so that, that's perfect. The sheep are all facing away from you so you can go straight in, just grab the head and straight back out. And you're there, hand pieces there, pick it straight up, and you're right to go. I'd just love to see this design more throughout New South Wales and all over Australia. It's going to make our retention for staff so much better. You know, we can have these guys shearing for a lot longer if they haven't got their stress, and we can take that injury factor out of it. And that's the whole idea of this whole project, is to make it a little bit user-friendly and then a little bit friendly on the animal as well, so you have two wings there. Fix one problem, you could change another three. You know, you change the angle of the shoots and the angle of the pens to fix one problem. I think you need to find a compromise so everyone gets a good, a good design to work in, and I think this basically fits that. 
I reckon it's great. It's uh, it's going to help our industry a lot in, in, in giving a good standard to farmers to follow, rather than uh, a heap of different ideas that don't always quite work as well as they should.